So um, in this meeting, I'm presenting um, uh, results from our studies on uh, founding precision therapy uh, for patients with 1Q amplified multiple myeloma. It is well known that uh, myeloma is highly heterogeneous genetically, and so very few genetic alterations are um, as frequent across myeloma patients. Uh, but most importantly, uh, 1Q amplification uh, actually infer, uh, confers um, uh, worse survival. Um, and for these two reasons, we think that finding ways to efficiently treat these patients uh, can really affect change in clinical practice. Um, so what we've done here is we've employed a multitude of uh, large-scale screens, uh, be it CRISPR, um, RNAi, and large-scale drug screens, and we've attempted to identify differential dependencies um, in cell lines with 1Q amplified multiple myeloma, uh, cell lines of 1Q amplified multiple myeloma, um, but also differential sensitivities to drugs. Um, and that strategy has allowed us to um, identify the uh, major pathway addictions of 1Q amplified multiple myeloma, um, and those include the cell cycle pathway and the PI3K mTOR pathway, but also identify ways to target these, um, mainly through PI3K inhibitors and, and VGFR2 inhibitors. Um, um, one particularly interesting um, uh, dependency of 1Q amplified multiple myeloma is MCL1, and MCL1 is a pretty well-known gene uh, for its role in tumor cell proliferation across cancers, myeloma included, uh, but um, not only did we find that MCL1 is a, a preferential addiction for 1Q amplified multiple myeloma, but furthermore, uh, we found that that addiction translates uh, into preferential activity of MCL1 inhibitors in vitro, and in vivo experiments are currently ongoing. Um, so um, another thing I should mention is that lots of these drugs um, uh, are actually FDA approved for different indications, which can significantly shorten the time uh, from a bench to bedside. Um, and so we are really excited about these results, and, and we think that perhaps MCL1 inhibitors uh, could soon be part of our armamentarium again. Uh, 1Q amplified multiple myeloma.